Good evening or afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another weather forecast, and I hope you guys are all enjoying your wonderful uh, day so far. And this is going to be yet another update on the potential for a major yet historic snowstorm for a portion of the Northeast. Basically, like a wind from Jonas 2.0 here, as it's going to possibly bring anywhere from two to four feet in major cities, and not just the mountains. I mean, like New York City, get up to a foot and a foot and a half of snow. Uh, areas like Philadelphia just under two feet. Allentown can get near two feet of snowfall. And areas uh, near Harrisburg and State College can as well get near or even over two feet of snowfall. So it's going to be an absolute historic snowstorm. Going to have snow all the way from areas like North Carolina, Tennessee, and Georgia, and the highest elevations all the way up to Maine. So it's going to be a not only ma major snowstorm, but it's going to be very, very widespread as well. But currently, the low pressure is in South Central, so we will be slightly talking about the South Central as well. But the main point of this uh, snow, uh, the main point of this video is to focus in the Northeast. So if you live in the Northeast and you have not already subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button as I'll be talking about this throughout the next few days here, getting in the most recent and uh, accurate data on the storm, so you can get the best uh, best information as well. If you want to know your own forecast for your specific city or town or county, be sure to put them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them as comments really go really fast. So I really won't be able to respond to all of y'all, but I will try to. But without further ado, let's get in the forecast. So here's a look now at the National Weather Service, and as you can tell, there we have these winter storm watches for millions of people here. And some of these watches are for the snow portion or like a snow a uh, storm we saw earlier today, which is not the one we're talking about. That one's going to bring in a good amount of snowfall. It's bringing a lot of snow for Pennsylvania, New Jersey right now. But really, half a, half or more of these watches are for the upcoming snowstorm coming up by really Thursday here. So not too far at all here. But here we have winter weather advisory in the south central and central plains for the beginning of slow pressure. So there it is. We're really going to be right now in the plains. going to start bringing snow very soon. This is going to make a way across country to become a major nor'easter here, possibly even a bomb cyclone. But winter weather advisories once again for areas like Oklahoma there in northern Texas. You guys are back to back getting snow. But this time, it really won't be too significant. Only around one to three inches, maybe four inches, but really won't be like we saw uh, like we saw yesterday. Uh, finishing off with up to 8 to 10 inches there in some portions of the higher elevation near the Ozarks. Winter weather advisors as, uh, as well for areas like Dodge City once again, all the way up to areas near central Nebraska. So in those advisories, we're going to be seeing really less than 3 inches. Maybe some areas isolated can get 3 inches, but it's going to be very minimal. But once it gets now to the northeast here, all the way from areas like Roanoke, Virginia, up to areas like Cape Cod, we do have winter storm watches. And that includes Charleston, that includes Washington, D.C., that includes Baltimore, that includes State College, that includes all areas like New York City, New York, includes uh, all of Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, and also includes much of Central and Eastern Pennsylvania. So it's including millions of people. There you see New York City under the winter watch, New York, Princeton, uh, all of Long Island there, all of Connecticut. I mean, it's going to be a big, big snowstorm, as you can tell. Other areas like DC under some uh, DC actually, you guys are just out of this winter storm watch here. You guys should be uh, getting it right now very soon. But areas like as well Alexandria, Winchester, areas all the way up to areas like of Roanoke, and winter storm watch is all the way down into the southern Appalachians there in Virginia. Look at Charleston under winter storm watch as far down as the areas near Clintwood in uh, Virginia here. So definitely something to really watch out here, but. Let's take a look now where the storm is right now. So this is basically the expected snowfall for areas of the southern and central plains where this low pressure is right now. So really we're going to see not really that snow really coming down. It's really the next 12 hours. In the next really 12 hours we'll start to see our first snow showers developing. Some of these areas bringing around a little bit of trace of the snow here. It's going to be very scattered here. It's not going to be too widespread whatsoever in the next 12 hours. But once we now get the next 18 hours it starts to really build up. Low pressure moves eastward, kind of extending and strengthening slightly. So we will just see that snow really extending as temperatures as well as temperatures as well start to really go down here. So the, uh, the next 18 hours, this is kind of uh, mid, really early in mid afternoon for Central Time. So temperatures will start to drop in the next 24 hours, which is around this time, four o'clock Central, anywhere from five four or five o'clock Central time. 
temperatures are really going down. Sun is a, sun's about to set. Temperatures are going to really be below freezing here. That's when that snow becomes very widespread, especially for areas like northwestern Kansas, anywhere from one to three inches already. And then later on, that snow becomes very widespread now by the next 48 hours here. Going to bring anywhere up to near three to four inches then far northwestern Kansas. Go see each trace there for Kansas City, areas like Garden City, and as well as well. In the southwestern part there, we will be seeing anywhere from 1 to 3 inches in southwestern Kansas near Garden City. Anywhere as well, anywhere from scattered 2 to 4 inches in southeastern uh, Colorado. But let's check, uh, quickly check, check a look now. I think like Oklahoma here to get a better look at what's going to be happening here. Going to be a lot more snow for Oklahoma though. Once again, going to be seeing a lot more snow towards Oklahoma. Going to be very scattered. Really, a max is around 5 inches. Or actually, the max here is 5.2 inches. So like I said, it's not going to be like we saw uh, a, a few days ago, or beginning, or starting a few days ago, and then ended yesterday. But we are going to be looking at a good three to five inches for Oklahoma City. So I do expect western warnings to possibly be very scattered, but mainly in Oklahoma. I think we'll, they will do what they did last time. Um, last time we saw snow here a few days ago, they issued western warnings kind of last minute for for the Oklahoma City metro area. But again, just west of the city could maybe get six inches but that's really kind of out of the possibility here but again north uh the far northern tip right here two to four inches in texas and may see if uh, a few flurry or trace all the way up to the texas and oklahoma border another snow system for arkansas back to back in a la nina year that's not something you see much and that's going to be very little bit maybe an inch max same thing for uh, missouri and these areas just got hit, I mean, as as soon as yesterday. And they're back at it again in the next 48 hours. But now let's take a look at the big part of the snowstorm in the northeast. So here's a look now at the actual big European model here, the main model, uh, global model. And they show in the next 48 hours, there's that low pressure to kind of just go over the Ohio Valley here. And you're going to start seeing, as you know, in the next 48 hours, by Around Wednesday evening, of course, at this time, but two days from now, we are going to start seeing some slight snow showers developing areas just north of the Ohio Valley. This low pressure will just be in the Ohio River. So anywhere south of the river is going to mainly see rain for the mid-afternoon on Wednesday. But as you now get overnight, that snow become a lot more widespread. You're about to see there it is in that stretch all the way out to West Virginia, Virginia, going to be seeing some snow showers there for Cincinnati, some snow showers for Indianapolis, even all the way to Toledo and Detroit might get a few snow showers from this, because the low pressure is going to be around this general area, so is it with the cold there and a lot of precipitation, precipitation all over the place, we could see some snow showers all the way up to the Great Lakes here, but really the big part of the snowstorm will be developing off kind of just east of the Appalachians here. We're going to be seeing some very heavy snow there beginning in areas now in far western Virginia. We are seeing the little foothills there. They're like the little outside of the mainland Appalachians there. Kind of the worst of the Appalachians are really right here though. But really going to be seeing that snow now going to Pittsburgh as early as the next 54 hours here. But as we now get into really late Wednesday nights around midnight to Thursday morning like 4 3 a.m. This snow has taken advantage of those very cold temperatures in the 20s and 30s. It will absolutely blow up here. You're going to possibly see some blizzard conditions because we are, again, this is going to be a low, this is going to be a nor'easter. Low pressure will be off the coast. The further east this low pressure goes, the further east that snowfall goes, or that snow goes. And you can kind of see as it goes away, the low pressure, that's going to go more and more into the east here. But we're going to start seeing that snow as early as around midnight. To 3 a.m. beginning in New York City here. Going to really pick up for New York. Going to really pick up for Philadelphia quite quickly, uh, quite quickly here. And you could see some moderate snowfall for Columbus. So decent snowfall totals there. But with this nor'easter, uh, it's going to bring some very strong winds. 40 knots, uh, maybe 45 knot gust here. So we are looking at blizzard conditions for some of these areas there. Especially up there in West Virginia. Northern Virginia and Western Maryland. As we now go deeper into the morning hours, now around 6 a.m., people are waking up. It's not going to be a good time to go to work. I mean, it's going to be absolutely coming down very quickly for areas like New York City. Here, going to be a big snowstorm. Areas like Long Island, uh, Trenton, Philadelphia, going to be seeing absolutely blizzard conditions, whiteout conditions with the winds here. 
Same thing goes for Baltimore and areas like D.C. Going to be really wide out conditions. And that especially goes for Southern Pennsylvania near Greencastle. You guys are basically in the bullseye for this snow here. I mean, this snow is going all the way from areas uh, hundreds of miles off Massachusetts, around 100 miles off Massachusetts, all the way up to areas like Columbus and Dayton, Ohio. So it's going to be a very widespread storm here, bringing snow uh, all the way up to areas like Buffalo, very heavy snow now from the beginning, and areas like Connecticut or Rhode Island coming into really when you're waking up on Thursday. But it's just going to get a lot worse for those areas as we now go into around late morning. Still seeing that snow really coming down for New York City in the tri-state area. Still seeing that snow really coming down for much of eastern Pennsylvania, including Allentown and Philadelphia. And that snow is going to start really finishing off as that low pressure is way to the east. That snow will continue to go eastward now off the coast. So that snow will start to pick up for Dover. Will start to pick up for Atlantic City. But areas like D.C., areas like Baltimore, it will start to kind of die off a little bit. But it will be it will be the opposite for areas like Fallsboro. It will be the opposite for Providence, Newport. The snow is actually going to be heavier and actually worse actually off the coast and not further inland. So areas like Cape Cod, areas like Newport and New Haven, you guys are going to be seeing actually higher accumulations than further in your state here. Um, and then it'll really it'll kind of start to finish off by Friday morning, late morning. It'll kind of see still some snow flurries there for Newport. And then we will see some remaining flurries and uh, Lake Vex snow coming far inland in the Appalachians there, so I could see some additional an inch or two, an additional inch or two there, but not going to be too much. So maybe a few flurries for DC, a few more flurries for Pittsburgh, but it, it's going to be very interesting. What is going to play out this historic snowstorm? So here's like now the GFS, and that's I don't know why we're outside there. Let's look at the zoomed in here. The GFS is fully re uh, or uh, newly uh, reloaded here, so this is very uh, fresh, very. Um, accurate and kind of the most frequent data but as you do see in the next let's see this is is this this is the next 42 hours of course until now wednesday early afternoon for eastern time and central time we will have to see some uh, some little ice threats across areas like the ohio valley and even up to the carolinas here because we will be seeing two portions of the system here one's going to be to the west all the way up into the ohio valley and midwest and then the main system which will be in the appalachians that's where that main low pressure is because it would kind of be at this point right here and we're going to be seeing another low pressure down here so kind of two low pressure contributing to the widespreadness it's exactly why it's going all the way from even as far north as detroit to as far south as areas like boone north carolina so that's exactly why that's a possibility but in the next 48 hours by around kind of getting to the evening sunset for the for the um eastern portion of the united states that's when that snow starts to really come down now or become more widespread could be seeing some major ice threats though various like roanoke and southern virginia even all the way from even richmond maybe because he's a ma major ice threats and not only that areas that are outside that snow out of the ice you guys may be seeing just below freezing temperatures so with that extreme amount of rain it could possibly lead to black ice so not you don't have to be getting snow or the main system to get actually some big threats here. But here it is. There's that low pressure now coming off Virginia. It's about to come off the coast and become officially a nor'eastern. As you can tell, you're going to see a pattern. The further east the low pressure goes, the further it goes off the coast, the more that snow come eastward here. Uh, the reason why that past snow storm we saw in the northeast did not produce as much snow or this close to the coast is because of the opposite. It actually went further inland here. Or that's not exactly what it did. It kind of like went like, it kind of went like, further in like this which is why i brought all that snow just for these areas and that's kind of the opposite of what's happening here now it's going actual an actual nor'easter that's actually going further off the coast which will help bring snow for these areas so that's kind of what's happening here but very heavy snow now around really at dusk that snow's going to really start to blow up here for areas like virginia west virginia there baltimore just about to get that snow so dc and baltimore you guys can kind of start seeing that rain snow mix developing by dusk in this general time frame that snow's going to start really popping up now for new york city because your first little flurries popping up as early as dusk on wednesday not actual thursday morning but of course, by actual Thursday morning around midnight, it's going to absolutely blow up. That low pressure is going to strengthen quite quickly, going from 1,004 millibars to 999 just in six hours. So that's an interesting, uh, interesting factor in the heavy snow. 
Uh, again, right off the coast, not going to bring potentially blizzard conditions. And it's not just because the heavy snow. Well, obviously, heavy snow and the wind has to do, and also the time, has to all to be the big three factors for blizzard conditions. Number one, or for blizzard warnings. Number one is it has to be uh, strong winds up to, I believe, over 40 miles an hour for, I believe, over three hours. It has to be wide conditions for at least three consecutive hours. And of course, it has to be very heavy snow to cause a whiteout conditions, and the winds as well have to be a factor here. With the slope, with the nor'easter, you're gonna be seeing that onshore breeze there. There's that eastern side gonna bring some very strong winds off the east, off, off to the east, and then gonna crash right into the shore. That's gonna bring in some uh, some really breezy winds, especially for big cities, the little alleys with the big buildings. That's gonna be stronger winds there. So in some alleys, specific parts like New York City. Philadelphia, really big cities like that with all those buildings, winds can really gust up to 60 depending on the actual really gust. So there can be gust to gust, <laughs> if that makes sense, especially for big cities, which makes areas like New York City and all those areas to get extreme gusts when it comes to north to the northeasters. And then it's just a week and that low pressure is just a weekend, but of course the further east it goes, there you see the further east that snowfall is, and it's going to continue to bring in very heavy snow from New York City and Long Island, all the way up to Boston, up into areas by mid Thursday morning. And then it moves out by Friday morning as well, but there you see that remaining black effect snow. Last radar we'll be looking at is the NAN 3 kilometer, and then we'll start to look at the actual snowfall total. So, in next around 43 hours, that's kind of the estimated time when we start to see those snow showers developing here across the Midwest and Ohio Valley, Cincinnati, Lexington. Uh, Evansville, all the way up there is like Dane can see a few snow showers, very little accumulation. Uh, and obviously nothing like what Dane brought in some of those areas, like four inches for like Cincinnati and four inches there near Dane. But it's gonna get really what Dane, but times three for areas in this general region here. I mean, it's gonna be a big, big mess. I mean, look at that snow becoming very widespread now by the next, this is the next 50 hours here. I'm gonna start seeing some very heavy snow developing across areas like. Uh, just with the Charleston, so you're going to see the snow showers developing just with the D.C. near Alexandria. See some snow showers out there into Pittsburgh. And then the next 54 hours, it gets an absolutely big mess here. Potential wide-up conditions for D.C., Alexandria. And then those conditions start to really kind of diminish by, obviously, Wednesday after, or sorry, Wednesday evening, Thursday morning for like New York City there. There you see it's going to be absolutely just heavy snow pounding right in the middle of New York City, pounding Greencastle, pounding Allentown, pounding Lancaster, even starting to pound by kind of mid-morning areas like Boston, still New York City, Connecticut, and those areas. But let's take a look at the snowfall totals. This is the big thing we want to look at. This is the newest European 12Z. The 18Z comes out a few hours from now, and this is what we're looking at here. So snowfall totals all the way from Indianapolis, Illinois, all the way to Nova Scotia. I mean, snow totals have increased for Indianapolis, one to two inches. That's so better what Dane brought, obviously. Uh, one inch for Cincinnati, one to one inch basically for Lexington, maybe, maybe one to three inches for Columbus. But the highest amount of totals will be in far west or sorry, far eastern Ohio, where there is a chance for over half foot of snowfall here. But this is where it gets really interesting here. I mean, look, D.C. and the European model is starting to really increase now. It went from, like, really anywhere from, like, 3 to 5 inches yesterday to now getting anywhere from 3 to 6 to 7 inches now. In the especially up there in the northern part of D.C. there, it's going to be a big difference. Because D.C. and Baltimore, they're kind of, like, right on that snow rain line. So it's going to be kind of right where, you, right, like, south of D.C., you get nothing. But north of D.C., you get, like, over a foot. That's what's going to happen here because this freezing line is going to be like right here. So areas just to the south are going to get nothing. Maybe flurries, but it's not going to accumulate. But having just north, it's going to be over a foot. So that's that's going to be a big difference here. A few 20, 30 miles could be an eight, an 8 inch difference. And that has happened before, including Jonas and Charleston. Really missing out. Two to, five, two to four inches there, but in the eastern half there, we're looking at 17 to 30 plus inches there. Uh, Pittsburgh, wow, you guys have really increased in snowfall total. Seven to 10 inches there for Pittsburgh State College, 19 plus inches of snowfall near Greencastle. Absolutely right in the smack down center of this snowstorm, 20, 26 plus inches there. 
actually it shows 40 inches here on the max 40.1 inches right here i mean that's that's absolutely crazy that's 40 inches i mean that's crazy i mean that's like like four or five times what you guys saw last year in green castle uh baltimore of course around that border or anywhere from like southern metro area can get five to eight inches and just north of the metro area can get over 16 inches i mean it's crazy the northern tip there delaware just near pennsylvania border on the delaware river can get over a foot but just near dover a trace is really what you guys are gonna get pennsylvania 14 to possibly 17 inches of the snowfall Areas in New York City continuing to be trending at 17 plus inches of the snow. Areas as well near Trenton getting over 19 inches of the snowfall, most likely. Uh, Poconos getting around up near two feet there. Albany looking at anywhere from six to eight inches of the snowfall. Uh, much of Long Island can get over 10 inches from the farthest east to the farthest west point. New Haven 19 plus inches, and like I just said. The, the more you're on the coast, the more the snowfall you get. Well, that doesn't obviously that doesn't include these areas. So obviously, they don't have a coast except Maryland and Virginia and Delaware. But I'm talking about these areas. This is what I'm talking about. These areas, the highest snowfall will actually be on the coast. For example, I mean, look at that 14 plus inches near Pro or near Newport, uh, 19 plus inches near New Haven, and then of course higher totals will be as well near the um near the cape cod area possibly 14 plus inches there boston 10 plus inches is that a possibility that's what it showed for the last storm then it was a big bust but this is this is the better chance of happening for boston and for big cities on the coast because that last system at low pressure it was not on the track of what this is doing because it moved further inland at that point but this one's going to get further off the coast here so that's going to lead a better possibility with that cold from falling behind it to bring its snow actually closer to the coast and not only that but more snow for the coast and that's exactly why boston you guys should not get a bus from this new york city definitely should not get a bus from this so that's exactly why there's a lot of confidence here even though what that last one did gfs still trending here 12 plus inches for state college they're getting a little bit less snow for dc at the three inches there getting baltimore at around five to eight inches of snowfall they're getting alexandra at the eight plus inches as well New York City is still looking at a good 14 to 15 inches of snowfall. They have a lot less snow here for the New England area, though. They have up to only 2 to 4 inches there for Boston, only 6 inches for Providence, only 6 inches for New ha for New Haven. I mean, there's a lot of differences now between the GFS and the European here. I think it's kind of be split in two. And then last but not least, let's take a look at the NAND 3 kilometer. And this as well looking pretty good here. I mean, they're showing up to anywhere from 3 to 4 inches in southern Indian, Indiana with Indianapolis maybe up to three inches. So that's very interesting there uh, as well. Maybe one inch, maybe two inches for Columbus. It's going to be really iffy, but that west or that eastern half there definitely get over a half foot of snowfall. DC looking at maybe one, then anywhere from five inches based on the NAM. Very, really widespread. So totals, I mean, it's going to be pockets of very heavy snow. Of course, DC's right on the freezing line. I mean, it's going to be really hard to predict exactly for DC. The NAM shows 32.9 inches right near Greencastle. Of course, they're trying to really agree now with the actual, with the uh, the trend for Greencastle in South Central Pennsylvania. Looking at around six plus inches for Pittsburgh State College, around a foot or more. So, uh, so far, I mean, this is not it. This actually stops at 60 hours. So areas like New York, this is not the exact totals for Hartford. This is not the totals for New England. So once you get past here, these are not the these are not the full total. So any, anything east of this, this is not your snowfall total. Or this is not all of it. Because this stops at 60 hours. So there's obviously way more. There's a whole full day after this. So don't get mad if you're in Boston, New York City, Harbor, or anything east of the Delaware River, really. Because you do see it kind of stops at the Delaware River. Or I mean, it might keep growing, actually, just to the west of the Delaware River. So, so far, stopping midway gets up to over a, near a foot for New York. Long Island, near New Haven. I mean, this is really looking like it could be your storm if you live in the Northeast. And I'll see you guys later, not post later tomorrow. Or maybe I may post later today. We'll see. But bye, guys.